You're gonna look at this going, where's the blush at? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have got some really fun things to talk about this week. Some things that are new to me, some things I've had for a little bit, but just some really good makeup. And mainly I would say I was super duper loving some lip combos this week, but I also really liked the eyeshadow palette I was using this week. So I loved it all. That's why they're my favorite. So let's get to the favorites. I have been wearing this palette all week and loving it. This is by Persona Cosmetics. This is the Identity Palette. So that's what the front of it looks like and that's what the back of it looks like. You open it up and it's a very neutral palette, but oh my goodness, the quality of these shadows is amazing. I've got this one in my crease, just a little bit of that mixed with it to lighten it a little bit, but mostly this one. I have this one on my lid, but I also wore this one this week. These shimmery shades are incredible. They are so buttery and pigmented. Oh my gosh. And then I have this one in my outer corner. Yes. Oh, this is so good. I think it's like $32. So you know, in the world of more prestige cosmetics lines, that's, you know, fairly affordable. So it's not, you know, drugstore prices, but it's still pretty good price, especially for the quality. These wear really well. I mean, these don't need any kind of like Mac Fix Plus. They're just intense, even just dry. I have no complaints. This is amazing. I've been loving it. So this has been what I've had on my eyes pretty much the entire week. For blush this week, the standout for me would be this one. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush, and this is in Plum Rose. My goodness, this is a light colored blush. I mean, clearly, I'm pretty fair complected, and I really had to build up the color with this blush. But the thing about it that I really liked this week specifically is I was wearing kind of like more intense lip looks, so I didn't want, and I mean, I do like smoky eyes and stuff like that. So I needed a more subtle blush. So this is definitely a subtle blush, but the texture of it is gorgeous. They do have new colors, though we still have some eyeshadow left there. Need to get that off. So clearly those eyeshadows stick around. But anyway, they have some new colors um, in the Butter Blush line that are more, there's like a peachy one and there's a pink one. This is so funny because like you're going to look at this going, where's the blush at? <laughs> it's just like barely there, but I do like it because it's really subtle, but it's kind of like a cool toned mauve subtle. I feel like a lot of times I just don't have anything like that. Like I was going to say a lot of times the more subtle blushes are like a light nude or a glowy nude or something like that. And this is more of that like purpley cool toned mauve light colored blush. It's really, really beautiful, but the texture is just awesome. Um, the packaging is really cute. It's bulky and not very, you know, I don't know, collection storage friendly, but it's super cute to look at. I was a loving this highlighter palette this week. This is so beautiful. It's drugstore, which is awesome. This is by Flower Beauty. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. It says long lasting natural luminous glow, sheer coverage. I would not say it's sheer coverage. This is really intense, beautiful, like in your face highlighter coverage. So I mainly wore these two this week. I don't think I wore this one at all, but that one's really pretty too. So let me just swatch them all for you. I do have a video um, on like several new Flower Beauty products, semi new, like an eyeshadow palette, this palette, like a contour blush highlighter palette and I think a single blush. So anyway, I'll try to remember to link that somewhere for you. Back to the highlighter palette. This is beautiful. I think it's funny that they say sheer coverage because I mean, I guess if you apply just a little bit of it, but I mean, I think the draw to these is the like intensity and how like metallic they look. That's like what I like about them. I'm not going for sheer coverage. I, I like this. So anyway, I think that's a little deceiving, but who cares? It's a gorgeous highlighter palette. <laughs> but these two are definitely my favorite. They're gorgeous individually, but mixed together, I think they're even more beautiful. So have them mixed together on my cheeks today and it's amazing. 
even the packaging is really pretty. So that was a highlighter I was loving this week. Okay, now let's talk some lip combos. I feel like the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and the Merle Norman Lipsticks are like just a magical combo. Right now I'm just, I'll get into this in a second, but right now I'm wearing just a liquid lipstick, but, cause I wanted to show you the color. But I like to wear these together. I just, you get the longevity with this, but then you get like the comfort and the creaminess of this. So they just work really well together. And I don't feel like either of them like, you know, ruin the formula of the other. Does that make sense? But really I think you could use like any kind of a cream lipstick that's just really comfortable on the lips mixed with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I feel like the formula of them just works well with a cream lipstick. I hope I'm making sense and not just on a mad tangent. Clearly we're on the mad tangent, 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 but hopefully you're following me. Okay, what is this color? This is Lolita 2 and it's a really beautiful, like warm, I don't know, warm terracotta nudie sort of a color. It's really pretty, so I'm gonna show it to you by itself and then I'll show it to you with the lipstick on top and then I'll show you the lipstick by itself. So Lolita 2, definitely way more um, warm tone than the original Lolita. Lolita, the original is more like a brownie mauve. This one's a lot warmer. And then the Merle Norman lipstick is one from the spring collection. This is in Free Spirit. This is beautiful by itself too. These are both beautiful by themselves, but like together they just, you know, make each other better. Like they're just a great combo together. Okay, so there is Lolita 2, there is Free Spirit, both by themselves, and then there are the two of them layered together. Isn't that pretty? So it was just like a rusty, terracotta-y sort of a combo. Really just a beautiful lip. And then with this eyeshadow palette, it just paired beautifully. This eyeshadow palette would go with anything. I mean, it's a great neutral, but I feel like it was just a really good combo with these. So yeah, if you aren't a fan of liquid lipsticks, I would say, especially this formula, because I feel like I've tried other liquid lipsticks with things on top of them and things get weird. Not always, but sometimes. I don't feel like things get weird with this one. This plays well with other makeup products. You know what I mean? It's a friendly makeup product. It, it makes friends and it works well together. And then the other lip combo that I was loving this week is this one right here. Now, right now I'm just wearing the liquid lipstick because I really wanted you to be able to see it by itself, but maybe I'll add that lipstick on top just so you can, you know, see them together. So what is this? Let me tell you that first. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in one of the new shades. This is Miss Argentina. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. This is like a raspberry magenta amazingness. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Even when I first saw like the swatches and promo pictures, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to need that. So I set up an alarm even like the day that these new colors released because I really wanted that one. It's so pretty. And then the lipstick that I wore with it is again from the Merle Norman Spring Collection. This is in Romance. And this is kind of like a... I don't know, like a sheer, a sheer raspberry. Like that's why I feel like they work so well together. Let me just go ahead and put this on top of what I'm wearing right now too. Let me just see. So it just adds a little bit of gloss and, and comfort, but it doesn't, it doesn't make the liquid lipstick weird. Oh my gosh, they just work so well together. So there is Miss Argentina. There is the lipstick. What did it, what was it called? Romance by itself. And there they are paired together. And then on my lips paired together. Just beautiful. You know, again, I think really any comfortable creamy lipstick would work well with the Kat Von D ones. Um, but I just keep grabbing for the Kat Von D's and the Merle Norman ones because they just work super well together. Just a beautiful springy, raspberry lip. 
I was loving it this week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.